Sonny Nelson was nowhere to be seen on Sunday as torrential rain met the players when they came out to warm up. Both sides were in a positive frame of mind. Tasman because they'd pushed Auckland City hard last week and the Phoenix having beaten the Wanderers for their first win of the season. Tasman had the better of the first half and laid siege to the Phoenix goal. Facundo Barbero bent in a shot from outside the box, but it didn't trouble Ollie Sale. Former Melville man Jama Boss looked dangerous all afternoon. His first attempt slid across the face of Sale's goal, with the keeper at full stretch. Jean-Philippe Psycho then went close. Corey Vickers headed back across the goal, but Psycho was leaning back and could only head over. Then it was Boss again, from a long throw flick on. He got up well, but his header was straight at Sale. Minutes later, Boss should have scored. He ran onto a long clearance, beat the first defender all ends up, but fired straight at Sale when placement into the corner was called for. Tasman were then guilty of leaving the nest unguarded. From an attacking corner, they were caught short at the back and paid dearly. Benjamin Old ran onto the ball and unselfishly played it into the path of Byron Heath. Heath's first time chip was perfectly executed and the Phoenix had a surprise lead halfway through the first half. The local fans had seen an entertaining 45 minutes of football but must have been wondering what Tasman needed to do to score. The second half was 15 minutes old when they got their answer. The Phoenix were caught trying to play out from the back. Jean-Philippe Psycho turned and shot low and hard into Sale's legs. But the rebound was punched in by Matt Todd Smith. The visitors were then given a real boost. A quick counter-attack and Corey Brown was isolated one-on-one. -on -one. His tackle took out the Phoenix attacker and referee Nick Waldron pulled out yellow, then red and Tasman were down to 10 for the final 20 minutes. Even with the numerical disadvantage, Tasman continued to push forward. Psycho had a glorious chance to seal victory. A lovely cross from Corey Larson found Psycho all alone at the back post, but Sale's reactions were up to the task. The Phoenix looked dangerous on the counter, and Riley Bedoist beat the offside trap to run straight at Pierce Clark in the Tasman goal. He tried to place his shot, but Clark spread himself wide and made sure Tasman were to get something from the game. All square at the final whistle, a match Tasman may look back upon as a missed opportunity. Uh, we just weren't good enough throughout, to be frank. Uh, you know, I think we've put in two good performances against Auckland City and Team Wellington, and... Uh, you know, we kind of backed off the pedal a bit against uh, the young Phoenix team and, um, you know, they fully deserve their point. We, we missed a whole lot of chances and then we conceded off our own corner. So, uh, you know, it's not good enough all round and we know that. Um, you know, we're not happy about the result. We wanted all three points. But we really, you know, end of the day is uh, what we deserved. I thought we played really well, uh, worked the conditions well, got a good goal, um, deserved to be in the lead. And uh, it was an interesting game in the second half, you know, both teams were kind of countering each other and it was quite open and quite direct and it was real exciting. I think if you were a neutral it would have been exciting. Both teams had chances so I think a draw is probably a fair result.